All right, I saved some of the best ones for last. Y'all sit down. I got six minutes. We can do this. Maybe. Maybe. Are y'all getting this? This is going to help you. Do you feel changed already by saying these things? I can just see, I can see the transformation actually happening when you're speaking these things. Amen? So number, number six is that we are moving into an anointing for extraordinary miracles. Extraordinary miracles. Whew. Look at the scripture. We're talking about dunamis. We're talking about that power. These are just different definitions of this word dunamis. Look at the scripture. It says in the Passion Translation, Acts 19, 11, says God kept releasing a flow of extraordinary, extraordinary miracles through the hands of Paul. Lift your hands up and say, my hands were made to work miracles. I will lay them on the sick and they will recover. And I will release the dunamis power of God. And I will see people healed. I will see people delivered. And I'll see the dead raised. Because I'd make the decree. In Jesus' name. Look at this word. It is the word, uh, it's actually pronounced tunkano, tunkano dunamis. And that means miracles that hit the mark. You know why? Because these were in Ephesus. Ephesus was a city that was given over to occult and idolatry and all kinds of wickedness, wickedness and all kinds of false supernatural. And so God raised Paul up, and in Ephesus, God did extraordinary miracles to show off his power. God wants to show off his power through you. We lambano dunamis, we lay hold, we seize, we possess, we grab hold of this miracle anointing, a miracle anointing for your physical body, a miracle anointing for your family, a miracle anointing to come into you and flow through you so that you can change people's lives. Guys, this is what we're called to do. You shall lambano dunamis. So I want you to stand up with me, and we're going to lambano dunamis. I want we're going to lay hold of the miracle power of God. I lambano miracles and I release miracles to others. I am a miracle worker. My hands were made to be laid on the sick so they can recover. My words will generate supernatural power that will set captives free and reverse the curse and even raise the dead. This is my day of divine reversal. I will carry the anointing to turn things around for the glory of God and we decree it in Jesus name listen now is the time for miracles that are going to hit the mark I'm telling you that I really believe is what God is saying and even now God is loosing that dunamis power some of you need a miracle right now let's just take a minute let's stir up that miracle dunamis anointing right now in your body in your family in your marriage come on in the practicalness of life some of the things that you need to, to, to break through in and some of the practical things in life, God wants to give you those miracles. Right now, Father, we thank you, God, that you're breaking through for miracles, God. You're breaking through for miracles in our family. You're breaking through with miracles physically. God, you're raising physical bodies up and releasing health. God, we're going we're gonna to no longer just say, well, this is what I have. This is what the doctors have said. This is what I've diagnosed with without saying, but I am laying hold of the dunamis power of God. I am lambano dunamis my miracle I will receive it and I will represent it to the body of Christ as my testimony that will change the world in Jesus name give the Lord a hand amen all right all right y'all gonna really like this next one y'all gonna like this next one because this is part of dunamis part of dunamis is the anointing for wealth favor and influence say crazy increase I'm telling you, God's bringing us into a time of crazy increase. Those of you that have been around know that God spoke that to me in a dream. And I want to give you this scripture out of 2 Corinthians 9, verse 8, that says, and God is able. Just say that with me. God is able. Say it again. God is able. And what that means is dunatos. He is able. He is mighty and wealth and influence and, and abundance. God is able to make all grace abound towards you that you always having a little bit of sufficiency, all sufficiency in all things 
may have an abundance for every good work. Look at this word abound. It means to superabound and be in excess, abundance, overflow, and increase. Come on, this is part of the dunamis anointing. When we lambano dunamis, God also gives us an ability to break through our current financial level into a new place where we can step into the provision of God in supernatural abundance as we engage our faith, as we engage the spirit of God. God can cause breakthrough for you to come financially. I know it's sinking down because... You must just be tired. You must not want the rest of it. Do you want the rest of it? Because I'm telling you, I'm telling you, God is able. And God is going to bring us into crazy increase. God is going to bring us into that hundredfold anointing. That hundredfold anointing, I, I did it one Sunday. I'm not going to do it again. But that hundredfold anointing doesn't mean a hundred times. doesn't mean you plant a seed and God gives you a hundred times. It means that he folds it over and he folds it over again and he folds it over again and he folds it over again. And I'm telling you, when you get to a hundredfold, it's some, it's with the word no nillion. Who ever heard of no nillion? But that is crazy increase. Come on, can we strip off the limitation that's been on our mind? Can we strip off the negative expectation that we have for failure and lack and poverty that God won't come through for us? I'm telling you, God wants to raise you up. God wants to bless you. God wants to give you an abundance. God wants to loose the Abrahamic covenant over you that says, I want to bless you so that you can be a blessing. So stand to your feet, and we're going to make this decree. Whew. I want you to say, I am living in crazy increase. I will have more than enough to supply my needs and accomplish my mission. God will bless me so I can be a blessing. All the enemy has stolen from me must be restored seven times. This is my time. Let's say it again. This is my time. I will be a hundredfold believer. I feel like some of you need to pray in tongues right now to activate that right now. Come on, Father. We just activate that crazy increase anointing. We activate, Father God, faith for beyond where we've been. Father God, faith for the supernatural, faith for increase, faith for abundance, faith, Father God, be for exceedingly abundantly beyond. God, faith for beyond where we are right now. God, we pray right now and we speak an activation anointing, an energizing anointing to all all the seeds that we have sown in faith that have been laying dormant in the ground that we have never seen produce a harvest that have we've never seen come back to us God we speak to those seeds now in the spirit and we call them to dunamis life right now Lord that every seed we have sown will produce a harvest Lord we decree that now in the name of Jesus come on give the Lord a shout I hate the spirit of robbery. And the spirit of robbery is going to pay in this next season. He's going to pay back. Isaiah 67, 61 verse 7 says, For your shame, where the enemy tricked you into losing money, where the enemy tricked you into putting money in places that didn't produce, for your shame, you beating yourself up over it over and over. Come on, some of you have ended up in, in bad investments. You've ended up in bad situations. The Lord decrees today, for your shame, you get double honor. And instead of your confusion, you will rejoice in your portion. In your land, you will possess double. And everlasting joy shall be yours, says the Lord. Give the Lord a shout today. Hallelujah. Whew. Now just stay on your feet for this last one. Stay on your feet for this last one. Because we're going to decree this together. Just say it again. God is able. Say, God is able. He will not fail. As you stand to your feet, we're going to read this scripture together as we get ready to close here. Let's go to this scripture. It's in Ephesians chapter 3. Let's say it together. It's, it's, it's an exciting scripture. 
Now. Start by saying just now. Not in the future. Now. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us to him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. Amen. This is the word dunamai. It means he is able, he is possible, he is capable, he is strong, he is powerful. And we're going to close as we read together this out of another translation, passion, I think. Yeah. Let's read this together. Never doubt God's mighty power to work in you and accomplish all this. He will achieve infinitely more than your greatest request, your most unbelievable dream, and exceed your wildest imagination. He will outdo them all, for his miraculous power constantly energizes you. Say, it constantly energizes me. Now lift your hands and let me bless you. Pray in the Holy Ghost with me just one last time. Father, I thank you, God, that as you gathered this people here today, Father God, your word has gone forth, and Lord, your word will not return void. God, you're making us a dynamo. You're making us a powerhouse. You're making us overcomers that will transform our world. Father, I bless every man, woman, and child. Father God, that our spirit language will come to a new place of power and it will generate life, generate life, generate power, generate breakthrough and generate the blessings of God in abundance in every area of our lives in Jesus name. And everybody said, amen and amen. I bless these seeds that people have sown. I thank you, God, for the stirring of the spirit that anchored that truth, Father, in their soul. And I bless these seeds for 100-fold return in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you guys.